Number seven, what is the conjugate acid of each of the following? And then what's the conjugate base of each? And then we have letter E out of the bunch. So in this case, we just have to find the conjugate acid and the conjugate base of HSO4 minus. Now, if you can find both the conjugate acid and a conjugate base from a, you know, a single ion, that means that this ion is amphoteric. It can act as both an acid and a base. If it's acting as an acid, you can find its conjugate base. And if it's acting as a base, you could find its conjugate acid. The word conjugate just means corresponding in chemistry. Conjugates just differ by one hydrogen. Now, I kind of know that this can act as an acid and a base because anytime you see a hydrogen in the front of a compound, that's gonna be an acid. So it can act as an acid. But on the flip side, if I see negatives behind, that generally means that it can act as a base. So since HSO4- minus has both properties, it's got the H in the front and a minus in the back, that means it potentially can act as both. Just depends on the situation which one it's actually going to act as. But in this case, we just have to find the conjugates. So let's go for it. So I'll start over here. HO4 minus, right? And if it's acting as an acid, and I want to find the conjugate base, remember, bases just have one less hydrogen. So you're going to lose one hydrogen. Well, it's only got one hydrogen to lose. So, goodbye. So when we write the conjugate base, we write everything, but just not that H. So I have SO4. So you might know this polyatomic, right? But let's just correct the charge. When you do that, you just have to subtract one from the charge. Originally, HSO4 had a minus one. So I come over here, I say, okay, this was originally a minus one, but now since I lost a hydrogen, I just minus one. So negative one minus one is a negative two. And that makes sense. Sulfate, SO4, always has a negative two charge. And this would be the con base or the conjugate base. Now let's do the same thing if HSO4 minus was acting as the base. And what's going to happen with the acid? Well, acids always have one more hydrogen. So you're going to just gain a hydrogen. So there was only one here. So now there's two, H2. And then the rest come along for the ride, SO4. And now we just have to correct the charge. In this case, if you're turning it into an acid, you always plus one to the charge. It was a negative one, just like we said before. So negative one plus one, negative one plus one is zero. So I don't have to write a charge. And this one, we should know, right? H2SO4, that's sulfuric acid. That's your conjugate acid. And I'm going to put a star around this one because this one is one of your six strong acids, which you should memorize. Okay, guys? I promise you, if you just memorize your strong acids and your strong base, there's only six of each. Um, you will have a much easier time in this chapter. So don't worry, we'll, we'll get into it in, in later, you know, later sections of the chapter. But as far as this one, H2SO4, definitely one of your six strong acids. And there you go. Hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel. Uh, we're almost at 20,000 subs, which is absolutely incredible. And it's all thanks to you guys. So my brother and I, we really do appreciate you all. Have an awesome day. And I'll see you later.